Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a post-process script for Cubase 8. Now if I open the uh, usual export audio mix down window, uh, at the bottom you can see where it says post-process. Um, you would normally just have the option to upload to SoundCloud or open in WaveLab if you have WaveLab. Uh, so what we're going to do today is to add a custom script that allows you to open the rendered file in Adobe Audition. Now, one of the uh, features that I have been missing in Cubase 8 is the uh, function to normalize mixed down tracks. Uh, as you can see, we have the function to normal uh, mono, down mix, uh, split channels, we have left and right channels. Uh, so there's quite, uh, quite uh, many options you have in the mixed down. But since we don't have the normalize function, uh, we can compensate by opening the mix down file in our Adobe Audition and then normalize it. So that's what we're going to do. Now we can just close this one and uh, close Cubase. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is to open uh, your uh, Windows Explorer and you'll have to navigate to your local hard drive, that's usually the C drive. And if you haven't done it already, you'll have to click on view and um, check the hidden items because we're going to navigate to program data, which is a system folder and it's hidden. So open system data and there's a folder called Steinberg and audio export post process scripts. So open that folder. I'm just going to delete what I have here and start from scratch. Um, as you can see, there's already two files, and the first file is the uh, script. Uh, it's an AEPP file, and the other file is a PNG file, just a basic image or picture file. So we're going to try to do more or less the same by right-clicking. Uh, click on New and New Document, and we're going to call this um, Open in Audition. and open the, uh, open the text file. And now I've, I have made this quite easy for you because I have uh, copied the script in the description below the video. So all you need to do is just to copy and paste the script onto the text file. Now, as you can see uh, in the description, uh, basically you can name this anything. Uh, I have written open in audition. This is basically just the text that is displayed in the drop-down menu in the post-process scripts uh, option in the uh, audio mix-down window in QS. So it can be anything. Uh, below you can see that uh, there's a line called audition.png and this is referring to the icon that you would like to use. And since I have an icon from before, I'll just drag that on uh, to the same folder, copy that here, and you can name this anything. Uh, you just have to remember that the um, the file name has to be exactly the same as you have written here. So as you can see, it's uh, audition.png with a capital A, and that's exactly the, the same as we have here. And next we have the file path, and this is the file path to the software that you would like to open uh, once you have mixed down the audio file. So in this case, it's Adobe Audition uh, and it's the file path for Adobe Audition. And the text below is not really relevant. You can just leave that as it is. You can save the text file and close it. And now we'll just have to rename the uh, extension for the file from txt to aepp. Okay, just one more thing. Um, now I noticed that the original icon was a PNG file and it had a aspect ratio uh, or a dimension of 32, point, uh, 32 by 32 pixels. Uh, so it might be wise to keep that aspect ratio and um, uh, extension for the uh, icon file. So now we, can, now we can just close this and 
open Cubase again and see if the script is working. Okay, so here we have a uh, track that has quite um, low amplitude. Uh, so we're just going to open the uh, export audio mix down window and export it to the uh, desktop. We'll just call it uh, test. And at the bottom here, you can now see the new newly created script open in Audition. So we're going to select that and click on export and then it's going to automatically open Adobe Audition once the export is finished. Okay, so there's our newly created mix down. Now, since I use the normalize function in Adobe Audition a lot, I have recorded it as a favorite. So all I need to do is to click on favorite and normalize to full and the track is normalized. So now I can just click on file and save and that's it. Okay, so now we can just open the uh, rendered file in our media player. In this case, it's uh, foobar 2000. And as you can see, the track is now normalized. You can tell by the highest peaks. So that's basically how you create a post process script for Cubase. It's not too complicated. Uh, feel free to share your results if you experiment with this uh, yourself. And um, until next time, take care, guys. Bye.